But this is um, this is the raising of Lazarus. The Bible story. It's on plywood, and in fact, it's kind of a symbol. Of this, for example, this piece was cut out because I wanted this to feel like a separate, literally, be a separate stone that also kind of built it in there, um, playing off of the grain of the plywood itself. Here, done here a little differently here, a little differently here, and so, so there's a lot of playing off of the surface, the literal surface of the material, but at the same time, illusionistically, it's the stone of the tomb, right? So here's the shadow of Jesus, and again, he's in kind of a crucifixion uh, gesture, his arm kind of crosses over the Lazarus coming out of the tomb. They talk about the, the old Bible movies, but almost all of them were Old Testament. They only make one or two that were New Testament. But even when they did, they made Jesus like they wouldn't show his face, or they would show him only the shadow, you know, like like he flew in the dark or something. Actually, you know, he was just he was, he was a man. I mean, he was a man. He was God, not a man. Anyway, so but it's a little bit of a nod to that, and then you're seeing his shadow, right? And um, so so the shadow, so there's the shadow there, and then there's the, the tomb itself. But it's also again kind of a play on. It's all this emphasis on the surface, but then there's this kind of black chasm in the in the image itself. So if you're not standing, I mean, you can stand about right here, that almost feels like it's again you have that kind of trolled load quality, uh, uh, kind of cooling the eye of uh, of going back. It feels literally going back in its space. Uh, and again, the split there I deliberately uh, made the split here it follows the edge. Of and it crosses over about here, it crosses over. So the whole thing will split. It's all it's a little bit of an echo or a, an allusion to the temple, the veil split in the temple at the crucifixion. And uh, you know, so there's several sort of raising of Lazarus and then of course Christ and raising of the dead. The, the, the connection with Italy, again, is completely subliminal, right? As we talked about the palimpsest of the architecture. And um, uh, again, it's just kind of the general sense of uh, rich surfaces and ancient architecture.